Valentine's Day is this Saturday, and we have John Roselli here today. He's going to be showing us how to make a homemade heart-shaped heart shaped, yes. cheesecake. cheesecake. And I'll tell you, it looks delicious, and I'm very honored because he put me in charge of decorating oh, it, yes. so I'm very She's excited. <laughs> So some people like I've always thought cheesecake cheese cheesecake was very very hard to make. Um, I'm going to simplify. But that you're going to that. simplify yes. it for yes, us. Yes, I am. All right. Well, great. Well, how how what is what do you have to start with? Tell us the starting ingredients. Okay. Well, you've got to have a mixer for sure, <laughs> and you've got to have a cheesecake pan, and we are using a heart shape for Valentine's Day. And what what can what um, makes a cheesecake pan? Is it this bit, this thing right here? Because you can yeah, take it off. Yeah, uh, it's yes. You can open it up and shut it, so you can raise your cheesecake up very easily mm -hmm. when it's baked. Okay. Yes. Because this is not one of those that you just flip over. Because it's no, got the graham cracker. No, you cannot flip a cheesecake. Yeah. No, you <laughs> well, you could, but it would. It would be a mess. mess. <laughs> but the ingredients for the Granny Roselli cheesecake is. 32 ounces of cream cheese, okay. 8 ounces of sour cream, 5 eggs, a cup and 3 quarters of sugar, a touch of vanilla, and a touch of salt. Okay. Yes. So today I'm going to start with the cream cheese into the mixer. Now does it have to be like pre-softened? Do you have to? It would be nice, to yes, have it, okay. to have it uh, room temperature. Room temperature. Room temperature. Yes. Because you... You do not want any lumps in the cream cheese batter. Now, is it good to go ahead and pre preheat your oven, or what do you what do you? Yes. Go ahead and preheat your oven. Yes. While you're and doing this. Yes. Should I tell you? Okay. At the preheat the oven to 500. 500. 500 degrees. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> and then you put the cheesecake in for 10 minutes. Okay. And then you reduce. The oven to 245. Okay. But each oven is a little different, mm -hmm. so you may have to experiment. And because the first time I made one, I burnt the cheesecake. That sounds like <laughs> something I would do. <laughs> but I ate the top of the cheesecake. Well, it, it, it burnt still, the bottom. It was still good. Yes. <clears throat> so. So you've got your cream cheese. Cream cheese, and we need to cream the cream cheese. Okay. Yes. And how do you go about doing that? Okay. You just put it, put the mixture down. Yes. And, okay. and then we cut it on. About how long does it take? Uh, three to four minutes. Three to four minutes, yes. okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to add the rest of the cream cheese. As you can see that it gets in the, ba uh, the beater. So you have to... It's very thick. Cream it's very thick. Very, very thick. And this is at room temperature also. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the rest of the cream cheese. Now probably a mistake that I would probably make would be, I would probably put it in the microwave first. And you don't want to do that, do you? No, <laughs> no. Because you're going to get hot spots uh, uh -huh. in the cream cheese. And that won't, it won't bake good because of the hot spots. So cut this back on and let it mix about Three to four minutes. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we're gonna just let it mix. Yes. There you go. Another important thing is scraping down the bowl. Excuse me. And you have to get it off the beater again. And just scrape it down so everything will be incorporated. So we do that. And then we mix again. <laughs> smells so good. Okay, as you mix, now we can add the sugar. Okay. Should. I have a cup and three quarters of the sugar. Okay. And I'm going to slowly put that in as we still mixing.
and we just let it mix. Okay, we just put the sugar in. Okay. Let it mix some. And as I said, we, it's very important to scrape down the bowl. So we're going to do that again. And we, we probably do this three or four times and get it off the beater. It smells so <laughs> good. Oh my goodness. I love cream cheese. And I guess we don't have a camera to go right down and look <laughs> at it, but it's, it's getting nice and soft and looking very pretty. <clears throat> now we're going to cut it back on and start adding the eggs. Okay. And like I said, there's five eggs. I'm going to do one at a time. There's one. Incorporate. And the eggs should be also room temperature. Room temperature, yes. okay. It's good to go ahead and pre-crack them, I Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, on sometimes you see on cooking shows that they crack them right in there. I'm always afraid that some shell is going to get in there. So. Oh, that would definitely happen yes. to me. So I would... It would be very crunchy, yes, my cheesecake. It would, and it would not be good. <laughs> so that's one egg. <laughs> then two. And we're still mixing. It takes a lot of patience to bake. Yes. That's why I'm not very good at it, I guess. Oh, you're going to be just <laughs> fine. You're going to be just fine cooking. <sighs> it's good therapy. Yeah. It relieves stress. Mm -hmm. And then you get a great dessert at oh, the end. Oh, a great dessert, yes. <laughs> the eggs okay. really help add that moisture to yes, it. Yes, it so does. So it doesn't clump together that, doesn't stay clumped together like you, the original cheesecake, or the cream cheese. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> so we incorporate that for a minute or two. And again, we need to, as you can tell, it's getting all incorporated. We have to wipe down the sides of the bowl again. And once you get your, this is a basic batter, mm -hmm. you can add many things to this. You can put chocolate, uh, Reese, Reese's cup. So this is a base, this is a base cheesecake batter. Yes. And then if you want to do turtle cheesecake or caramel or That's right. anything, you can pretty much add it into this. That's and just correct. mix it in together. It's good to know. Okay. <laughs> and I see that's what you've done for this one. You that's put right. a little bit of chocolate in that. Okay, I'm gonna whip this up. Now I'm gonna add the sour cream. No, I didn't I wouldn't have thought sour cream was in this. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and add the add, sour add cream. Add the sour cream. Eight ounces. So that was a total of 40 ounces of cream cheese and sour cream together. Okay. Okay, we got that. Now we're going to mix some more. And if you're at home, you, can, you could have a cup of hot tea right now. Yes. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> Enjoy the smell. Enjoy. It's going to make your kitchen smell very good. <laughs> okay, as that's mixing, you put some pure vanilla. Okay. Do not use imitation. No imitation. <laughs> so, as my mother used to say, just put some in. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Then we're going to add a dash of salt. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. So, one more time. We have to uh, scrape down the bowl. Oh, it's getting good now. 
Now, at this point is when you add whatever, okay. uh, like Reese's Cup cheese, uh, cheesecake or uh, Butterfinger cheesecake, mm -hmm. amaretto. Oh, my goodness. It sounds so good. So I'm going to mix this for the final time. Okay, now I'm going. Now that's some good looking batter. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> then we take this off. And when I was a kid, I used to eat this raw batter, but with the eggs now, I would not. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, hmm, do yeah. you want to lick the bowl on this one? <laughs> okay, now we have the... Tell us about the, the crust at the bottom, The too. crust is uh, graham cracker crumbs mm -hmm. with sugar and butter, melted butter to hold it together. And you have to, let me put this back down for a second. You have to uh, put butter around the edges. Mm -hmm. So the cheesecake will not stick. Mm -hmm. And I see you've got a little bit of wax paper I got here. wax paper So you underneath. put it on some wax paper. Now, do you put this in the oven? Yes. I put this in the oven for maybe seven minutes okay. to uh, harden the graham crackers. And then it has that crispiness That's right, the it. crispiness. Mm. Yes. Graham cracker crust is my favorite part of cheesecake. Okay. Okay, for today to make the chocolate swirl cheesecake, we're going to put... About that is three that quarters of the batter into the cheesecake pan. Okay. Then we're going to put this back on. Now I have cocoa. And you just put some cocoa into the remaining batter. So this is if you want to make chocolate cheesecake. Yes. Now oh, we know how to do that. Yeah. So if you wanted to make the complete chocolate cheesecake before you pour this before in. Before you pour you just, in it, yeah. Yes. Go ahead and add some cocoa. Yes. And we're going to beat this up. Oh. <laughs> the cocoa's going all over the place. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, don't that look beautiful? It looks so good. Oh, that does look good. So take this off again. And this is how you give it that swirl. Yes, that's right. Now we pour this on top. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. And you're going to have some leftover that you can make a little uh, cheesecake pie with it <laughs> if you wanted to. And then you get a spoon or a knife. And put this down so, people, so you can see us. And then you just go back and forth. Get creative and make yes. little swirls. That's right. Oh, wow. That looks so good. And if we had an oven now, what you need to do now, I always like to... Get the elbow goes out by just dropping it like this. Okay. Okay, then you put it in the oven. At 500. 500. I always like to put a little cup of water with it to, to keep the oven moist. So how would you, just like a little, like a coffee glass mug or yeah, something? Yeah, something that's, that will not shatter in the oven when it gets uh -huh. hot. Oh, wow, I've never heard of that. Oh, so yeah. you just put a little bit of water in there? Put a little bit of water, and you put it in the oven at 500 mm -hmm. for 10 minutes only. Okay. Then reduce it to 245. Okay. For maybe an hour and a half. But to check to see if it's done, you would uh, maybe get a knife or mm -hmm. back. My mother used to use uh, a broom straw. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think anybody has it. Then you would just stick it in. Make sure it comes out clean. Yes. So you just stick it in like this. And a little bit like that's fine, mm -hmm. but you can tell if it's if it's not done yet. Oh yeah, because you want it to have that creaminess. Yeah, that's right. It. And you just after an hour and a half, you double check it and make sure it's right. And, and then it when comes it comes out, like out you let it sit in the refrigerator maybe overnight, 
and then you open it up and uh and it's time to decorate. It's time to decorate. So this is my favorite part. Oh, yes. Decorating. And you're going to do a great job I'm decorating. I'm excited. I, I've got to get creative here. So I'm going to see if I can, can do something fun. And it's always good to, you know, for Valentine's Day, you always think chocolate and strawberries. That's right, so, chocolate and strawberries. Um, and this is going to be delicious. And you've actually made your own chocolate yes, I ganache. Yes, I made chocolate ganache. So tell us how you made uh, that. Cocoa, sugar, heavy whipping cream, and a touch of coffee. Mmm. Coffee is very yes. good to bake with. And vanilla. <clears throat> and you cook it on the stove maybe seven minutes. But you have to constantly stir it so it would not burn. And then you just put it over the cheesecake. And then and you, and it just stays warm in this little... Yeah, this um, is a little uh, crock pot I bought at Goodwill for $5. And it does a great job. I can tell. I already had a strawberry yeah. and chocolate dipped in it earlier, and it was so good. So I'm not very good at this. <laughs> so okay. I'm just going to get a little, you know, just kind of okay. decorate it that way. Do you and have any tricks to do with strawberries with decorating? No, no. Uh, I've seen stuff on Pinterest before where they've made, like, roses and yes. um, all that good stuff. Um, this is actually a great idea um, if you want to do something homemade for your significant other for, yeah, Valentine's, for, for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, perfect. It's a great dessert. Obviously, start off with um, some of the Granny Roselli pasta sauce. Start out with a good pasta and salad with these um, salad dressings and the toppings, um, and then top it off with a, uh, uh, a wonderful, wonderful heart-shaped heart -shaped cheesecake. Cheesecake. And if you cannot find a heart-shaped pan, just just a round one would be just fine. Oh and, yeah, yes. it'd be still made with a lot of love. A lot so, of love. So I'm almost done here with okay. my little um, strawberries. Now I'm cutting these very wrong, so don't <laughs> always use a cutting board. Don't cut anything like I'm cutting it right now because that is how you're going to get cut. <laughs> Just FYI, this is That's not right. the, the um, ideal way to cut strawberries. <laughs> that one up because I'm gonna have to eat that one. Oh, that's, that's okay. <laughs> you can uh, eat the mistakes. Yeah, they taste just as good. So um, as you can see, this was a very easy dish to make and um, here we go. And it I'm just gonna... it just takes time but it's not difficult to it's make. Not, it's, yeah, it's, it just put a lot of time in it. Mainly the baking part is the longest Yes, that's part. right. And I like what you're doing here with the strawberries mm. around the edges. We're gonna put some chocolate syrup yes. on that. Decorating is the okay. most fun. I like what you did there too. So I'm gonna put a little more in the middle. Oh, no, no, well, you can. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just fill it up. Well, you don't have to fill it up. No. There we go. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay, now we can put can the chocolate. Can you see this? Stuff. This looks really good. Let's see here. Remove this. Okay. So now we're gonna take and drizzle some of this. Yeah. Now, now you can be a a Picasso <laughs> up with chocolate. Stir it up really good. And this is ganache. Ganache. Chocolate, chocolate ganache. ganache. All right. So we're just going to drizzle that That's right. on there. Try oh to get gosh. it go over the sides. That's always pretty when you do that. Oh, my gosh. This looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> well, uh, we do need to cut into it here in a minute or two. All right. I'm telling you guys, you make this for your ladies. And, and a, a guy can uh, have no problem making this oh, cheesecake. Oh, not at all. Not at all. It's uh. super easy. I'm telling you. It's way to our heart. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we got some on the sides here. That looks it Looks beautiful. Delicious. You did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can get a close-up of it before we cut into it. Let's see here. Move this around. The only problem is, how do you cut into a heart? So, uh, you see that? Yes. Look how delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. That's so good. All right. Okay. I think we just dig in. Yes. I think you should just dig in. <laughs> okay, we're going. Got to make sure you get that strawberry on there. Make a cut here. Make a cut there. <laughs> no plate. Hey. I am uh -huh, not against about, eating with my hands. <laughs> there we go. That's oh. kind of big, and you can see Look that how is beautiful. That is that it's oh got chocolate goodness. and it's vanilla. Got that chocolate in the middle. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. 
I'm about to eat this. This is <laughs> delicious. Okay. I'm just going to take a bite out okay, of it. Okay, go like ahead. Pizza. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is that good? Mm. This is delicious, you guys. Mm. Let's see what it tastes like. It's so fluffy. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Mm. And the ganache just mm. really, really... Mm. And you can take the... The cream cheese comes out. It's not so overly sweet. Mm -hmm. And that graham cracker crust is perfect. Right. You guys, you have to make this. Even if it's not for Valentine's Day. Even if it's just a Tuesday. You yes, make a Tuesday. <laughs> well, this oh. is delicious. Well, thank you. Mm. Oh, it is good. Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in and showing us how to make this. Um, simple, easy, just put in a lot of time. Great Valentine's Day gift. And don't forget to put it with the pasta. Because the sauce is delicious. <laughs> yes, the sauce. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, John, You're for welcome. being here. This is delicious, just like last time. Um, last time you came in, you cooked um, baked. I, no, I did the meatballs. The meatballs, yes. And, and then, the, and the uh, granny roselli salad. Yes. And yes. so if you want to um, know, if, get a entree to go with it, your dessert, yes. <laughs> check out the video um, on our YouTube and um, learn how to make that and then add the cheesecake to it. And you've got yourself a good That's Valentine's right. Day meal or for a Tuesday. It doesn't matter. Uh, for a Tuesday, <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. This is heaven. Uh, so It's good. my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back.